Greetings, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dutch the Creator, and this is a segment I like to call Inside the Promo. Man, oh man, oh man. Woo! Where do we start? Where do we start? Today we're talking about what everybody in the wrestling community is talking about today and all week. And probably up until next Monday or Friday Smackdown. Now, The Rock gave Cody Rhodes a piece of what the final boss looks like. He said, don't you ever fuck with the final boss. That's what The Rock said to Cody Rhodes as he was demonstrating Something that I haven't seen The Rock do since 1999. I quit match him versus one Mick Foley, Mankind. And Mankind told The Rock before the match, I want you to lay it on me. Do not hold back. And um, The Rock didn't hold back on Cody Rhodes. Look, man. This is getting very interesting. I was just on the podcast with my other two co-hosts. I am one third of Inside Storyline Podcast. And just last week, we were talking and, and, and we were up on live and we were like, you know, this is getting boring, man. No one is throwing any fists. No one is is no one's doing any physicality. I'm 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 loving the the mic work. I'm I'm loving it. But um, we're getting closer and closer to WrestleMania right now. I need some, you know, pull-aways. I need some pull-aparts. We had Roman lie to Cody about not having the bloodline. And then the bloodline shows up. And then Seth Rollins and then and, and Jay Uso show up. And then it's just a good, uh, a good stare down. No, I don't want no good stare down. I want y'all to go back and forth. Try to kill each other. This is before WrestleMania. This is two weeks before WrestleMania, man. And The Rock must have, you know, heard our wishes. Because as <laughs> Cody was fighting with <laughs> Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso in the back, he's whooping their ass out of the blue. Out of the blue. Because we thought The Rock was gone. We thought The Rock was out of here. He said it. I'm out. Gone. Ask him about what I said to him in the ring. What I whispered to him. Which people are saying he whispered, I'm going to make you bleed tonight. You know, and Cody Rose then said, you know, um, he said something that I don't think he can hold up that promise. And man, did he hold up? Did he hold up that promise or did he hold up the promise, man? So The Rock come into frame, and we all like, whoa, whoa, we got two surprises. First, we didn't know The Rock was going to show up. Then we didn't know The Rock was going to get physical. And did The Rock get physical? Yes, The Rock got physical. He threw Cody Rose on the table. He picked him up. He, 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 he pulled all of the tools on this man. He hit him with trash cans. He threw him in the door. Once the door opened, we see the back of the arena. And then we see it's raining. Oh, that the rain, the rain just made it that much better. And then we see something though. We do see something. We see a little Easter egg. And I do believe this was on purpose. The 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 truck with John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin. On the truck now, if you if, if if you just looking at it, you like, hey, you know, well, that truck truck was just there. But if you really look at that picture, just look at this picture. Look how the truck is lit up. Like the truck has lighting on it. Like they want you to see that. And I said it on our last podcast last week. I said, look, I would love for that glass to hit. And Stone Cold strut his ass down with the bad motherfucker walk. 
and 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 lay waste to everybody. Remember when Stone Cold came and stunned everybody, saving Mick Foley, I think? I mean, dude was just bam, bam, bam. I mean, it was epic. And I think that will be good. And you don't even need to explain it up to that point. You don't need, because we're smart. We understand that Stone Cold and The Rock had something. I think, what, 25 years ago at WrestleMania. You see what I'm saying? And and it'll all come full circle. We'll understand why Stone Cold is helping Cody Rhodes. And if you know Stone Cold, you know who got his attention in wrestling when he was little. He was a little boy. He seen Daddy Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes, getting his ass whooped, bloody, by, guess who? The Freebirds. Now, let's just... Let's just do some little cooking. I'm, I'm cooking real quick. I'm going I'm to cook for y'all. And the reason why Stone Cold would show up at WrestleMania and help out Cody Rhodes is because he's seen what just happened to him. He's seen what just happened to him this past Monday getting bloodied by The Rock, brutalized by The Rock. And that's the first time he's seen wrestling, period. That's the first time he's seen this form, this art form. And the first time he's seen this art form was sitting on the floor and watching Dusty Rhodes get mangled by the Freebirds and bloodied. And he feels that he has to intervene. Now, John Cena can have his own reasons. You you give John Cena reasons in the in the comment section. But yes, man, I can see that happening. But anyway, The Rock continued to brutalize this man. He opened him up. Blood. He. I mean, The Rock is just. Man, he is at full balls level. Final balls level, man. You got to give this man an Emmy. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The Rock is in his element right now. The Rock is rocking right now. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. At the end of the day, you cannot hate on this man. And he don't even got to be here. This man ain't even got to do none of this. But he's giving you his all. He's been giving you his all since he got back. Now, Roman Reigns, I don't know. He been in the background, but I think it's something with that. I, I don't. I think Triple H and The Rock and, and that, they know what they're doing. Um, Paul Heyman, they know what they're doing. They they they're giving little red herrings like they want us to think Co, um, Roman Reigns is in the background with this, and he's not really you know getting um, promoted like that. But it's something with that, and it's going to pay off quick. But um, I want to end with this, and I want y'all to, you know, tell me what y'all thought of the segment. I love the segment. Um, I love his promo while he was whooping his ass. You know, he put the blood on the belt like he said he was going to do, showed it to Mama Rose like it was there. He spit on the man. I mean, it was just straight up evil heel fat. I mean, the man is good. But I do want to say this. I don't think they're working together anymore because check it, man. Look, the slap, you know, two slappings, that, that, that's something. That's that's cool. We can work together and we can slap each other. But this is disrespectful. This right here is straight up disrespectful on some astronomical shit. I mean, damn. You got to understand. I ain't no friends after this. Like, I ain't trying to be your friend. I ain't trying. Nah, bro. You made me, I mean, he, Cody Rose always sharp. Sharp, sharp, man. Man, he messed my man suit up. He bloodied my man. He, he made my man look messed up. And I'm ready. 
I'm ready for WrestleMania. Are y'all ready for WrestleMania? I am. Fuck that shit. Y'all, go down in the comment section. Tell me what you think, man. And on top of that, man, y'all stay on. Mm, y'all stay inside this story. Inside this storyline. That's what the channel is, baby. I'm out. Y'all, be safe. I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs>